viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2024 GCE Mathematics paper team. So if you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the screen. You find a lot of resources that is going to be helpful to ensure that you armor and ace that exam of yours. Let us look at question 4. Question 4a leads, solve the equation 7 minus 2x square equals x, giving your answers collect to two decimal places. So, let us start with a, then we'll do b later. We'll go step by step. So, for a, this equation can be written as, we take this one to the other side, so it becomes... 2x square, the moment it crosses the equal sign becomes a positive, then plus x which is there, then the 7 also crosses the equal sign, then becomes a negative, equals 0. This is what it means. Or, if this is confusing you, is we are saying the same as 0 equals this one, because everything has gone the other side. That's what it means. So, this is the same as 2x square plus x minus 7 equals 0. 0 equals to this or that equals to 0 is the same. So, once you express it in this form, you notice that this equation is a quadratic equation. Even before you express it, you notice that the ice power is a 2. If the ice power of a variable is a 2, it's a quadratic equation. So, this is m x square plus bx plus c equals 0. So a is equal to 2, b equals to 1, the coefficient of x, then c equals negative 7. Now the fact that the question is asking us to give the answer correct to two decimal places, we need to use the quadratic formula, which is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac then over 2a. So this is what we need to use. So it's just a matter of substituting. So I know x equals now, what is b? b is a 1, so it will be negative 1, then plus or minus the square root of 1 square then minus 4 times, uh, what is m? a is a 2, what is c? c is negative 7, then over 2 times 2. Then from here we need just to simplify, then have x equals negative 1, the way it is, then plus or minus, then you are saying 1 square is a 1, then plus, if you look at him, negative 4 times 2 times negative 7. So that the answer will be possible because of 2 negative. So 2 times 7 is 14. 14 times 4 is 56. So we are going to have plus 56 then over 2 times 2 is a 4. So x equals minus then plus square root of 57 over 4. Then x equals, what's the square root of 57? Use the calculator. So minus plus or minus. The square root of 57 is 7.54983. Then divide by 4. So this tells me that x is equal to minus 1 plus 7.5483. Then over form. Then when I simplify this one, I'm going to get x is equal to 1.64 to two decimal places. Then or x is equal to minus minus 7.54983 divided by form. When I simplify this one using my calculator, I'm going to get minus minus 2.14. So this is how you answer this question. Once you do this, you are going to get these five marks. Then 
After this, we can move to part B. Given that matrix B equals in the first column we have 4, negative 1, then second column x and negative 3x. Find the value of x for which the determinant of B is 22. So we have this. How do you find the determinant? So I'll use different color. So if I have this matrix A, B, C, D, the determinant, determinant of this matrix, it's just in A, D minus B, C. So it's multiplying this one, then you subtract it, this one multiplied by that. That's what we use. So it's the same principle that we are going to use. Let us just create space. Then we equate the answer to 22 and so for x. So we are going to have this matrix B, which is 4, negative 1. Then we have x, negative 3, x. Then we find the determinant to be 4 multiplied by negative 3, x. Then minus negative 1 times x. This answer should be 22, according to the question. This should be 22, if you notice. Then, 4 times negative 3x, it will be negative 12x. The negative times negative is a positive, so it will be 1 times x, it will be x is equal to 22. Then, we are going to have negative 11x is equal to 22. Then, we divide by negative 11, divide by negative 11, so x is equal to negative 2. So, we would have answered the the value of x. So what is key is understanding how to find the determinant. Once you do that, you are good to go, you get these two marks. Then ends find the inverse. So after you find the value of x, so if the value of x is incorrect, then you not get Loman numerator 2. So you have to make sure that you get it correct. So now having found the value of, of x, and we know the determinant is 22. We can easily find the inverse of this matrix. So let us find the inverse. So the inverse of a matrix, if you're given a matrix which is equal to, like I said, A, B, C, D, the inverse of that matrix, which is, let me create a boundary here, which is this one equals 1 over determinant of A multiplied by, then the next is you swap. You swap A and D, so this is become D, this is A, then you negate B and C. That's what the inverse is. So now we found the value of X, so let us find the, the matrix B. So B equals 4 minus 2 minus 1, uh, negative 2 times negative 3 is in 6. So we have this matrix. So how do you find the inverse? So the inverse, which is B, we use the same principle that I've explained. So the determinant is 22, so it will be 1 over 22. Then multiply by, we swap 4 and 6. So this one becomes now 6, this one becomes 4. Then you negate negative 1 and negative 2. So this becomes positive 1, then this becomes positive 2. So this is the inverse of matrix B which if you want you can simplify it further you divide by 22 across everything but it may make it mess the way it is it's much more neat and easier to follow so this is how you answer this question to get these nine marks